Hey, everybody. Um, welcome to this show. I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> hey, Caleb. Hey, this is not, hey this Gabe. Is, how's it going, Caleb? This is not, this How are is you? not for good. the... I'm doing okay. good. Good, good. This is not for the listener. We're just... We're just ta- we're, I, I'm just talking to you guys. Welcome to doing the show. Well, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you so thank much. Thank for having us, Josh. Thanks for having us. Yeah. You're a great host. Every uh, week. Uh, every week. I don't know if the listeners know this, but jo- not only does Josh... Host the podcast, mm. even though he doesn't think of himself that way. I don't way. really think of myself. He that does way. think of himself as the host of Caleb and I while we're here at That's his right. shop, right? A- and he gives us. I, uh, I, I said watered a... cans that slay our thirst. No, I don't do that. Not, not anymore. The first couple of episodes, he did provide a pitcher of Light water refreshments. Yeah, and yeah, maybe we a, don't. They're lucky if I give them a microphone. Yeah. These Oftentimes days. there aren't even seats set up for nope. us. Or There's they... usually a long extended period of time where Gabe and I argue with Josh about how we do need to have a microphone to yeah. do the podcast yeah, it's with true. him. It's true. It's, it's a true. real point of contention. I do sit in a nice upholstered couch <laughs> and they sit on metal <laughs> folding chairs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Long time appreciators of ours will remember the couch from uh, yeah. our previous podcast. Right. Which, Which one? Uh, <laughs> yeah. We're not going to talk about that. Okay. Yep. Anyway, just so you can picture Josh sitting on a black leather upholstered yeah. uh, piece. And it, yep. And uh, yeah, well, let's continue to paint the picture. Uh, Josh Thank is you. sitting on a black upholstered piece. There's some wood on the arms of the wood piece. on the arms. Josh is wearing today. A cap. I, I'm a knit. Cap. Quite informal today. He's it's very true. informal. He's wearing a cap. He's yeah. got a kind of fleece zip mm-hmm. zip up. Uh, fleece on his yeah. upper body, and then uh, looks like and it's it's some f- kind of zip it's down a zip. fleece. It's, it's a, a full zip. zip. It's zip. not a three quarter fleece no. pullover. No, no, it's no. If you zip it all the way off, yeah, which yep. he hasn't done. And no. honestly, you could tell me. Josh could say that he just woke up from a nap, yeah. and based on his attire, I would believe that. Yeah, this not, is what you would. Really. It would be funny if I just if that's what I did when I took a nap was I got dressed for my nap. Yeah. Dude, I've, I do that. You do? You get I dressed for a nap. I absolutely do. It's very infrequently that you will find me in my house mm-hmm. wearing jeans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I come home and oh. I pretty quickly change yeah. into yeah. some sweats. Yeah. I think that I avoid that I my part part of my problem is I think when I'm warm, like I I you know generally slumber just just in the old chonies, as when you're it were. slumbing, when chonies. I'm slumbing, <laughs> chonies, the uh, underwear, the undergarment. Okay, I mean, I understand, but why are chonies. you saying chonies? chonies. What is it? I don't a know. Fun, I've never heard it. A fun regional, uh, you know, term. I, somebody I met that's from Tennessee, Tennessee. used it, uh. and I and I was like, wow, chonies. It's underwear. It's just underwear. Just nothing. Underwear. Not, it's you know, boxers, briefs, boxer briefs. You're an underwear. You're an underwear dad. Yeah, an yeah, that's dad. right. Wow. I am an underwear dad, and the thing is, I don't have a good enough body to actually feel comfortable right. doing that. So like if I have to get up and help my daughter with something, I have to like fight the impulse to put on a shirt. <laughs> Cause I feel like it's I just you know if I if I had like a really nice body, I yeah. don't think I would worry about it. I just as much. Yeah. I don't know. I mean I have a decent body. Yeah I have a good I body. Still don't like you know I wanted to about. talk about this <laughs> What a great body, but Caleb. Has. I just actually did want to say one of the reasons that I avoid uh, dressing up to go to sleep. Sometimes I'll, I will wear a t-shirt if it's very cold, mm-hmm. but oftentimes I just find that I get too hot, and that yeah. has a negative effect on my dream life. This week on Advanced Answering Techniques, dreams. <laughs> Advanced Answering Techniques. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Advanced Answering Techniques. I'm your host, Josh. I'm here with Caleb. Hi. And Gabe. Hi. And today we wanted to start off by talking a little bit about Caleb's special day. It's his bir- It was his birthday yesterday. Yes. yes. And, um, and how was your birthday, Caleb? Uh, it was a great day. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. Uh, woke up. Uh, and and one thing I did want to say, just I know that I'm interrupting. Yeah. Um, you in the middle of your thought, but <laughs> sure. um, but um, and it seemed like you're going somewhere. So, <laughs> so I, I'm sorry to derail that, but um, the uh, I d- I did want to say that on your special day, you don't just interrupt as much as you want. Hey, thank you so much. Good point. Yeah, you carte blanche. 
talk over yeah. us. Do whatever. Yeah, no problem. Don't kinda, even say sorry. No. Elbows. Throw a shoulder. You know, get a shoulder low. Mm-hmm. All right. Heave. Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do whatever nice you want. Birthday man. rule. And Conversational. And it doesn't even have to be. The interruption doesn't have to be related to what we were talking about. Yeah. It can just be a complete just, divergence. Yeah, yeah. Yep. like a whole other stream of thought. So or while something you guys like that. were talking about something over here, I was just sitting here blankly staring into space, thinking about something completely different. Right. And now here's that. Yes, that's right. Exactly. Okay. You don't Which, even. Have, you know, just just say it. Don't even introduce it that way. I won't. I won't. You this can. is the one. You can. Time. It's your birthday. You can do it. But you, I'm just saying, don't <laughs> yeah. feel like you need to. And okay. Josh and I okay. have agreed that when you do do that, yeah. our response will first be to say happy birthday. Day, yeah, and right. then continue to engage with whatever you've said. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, well, man. Until we're interrupted. <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm really excited about this. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Wake up. Woke up. <laughs> got some breakfast. Mm-hmm. Uh, open gifts. Mm-hmm. And what'd you get? Uh, I got some Legos for my kids. My kids always give me some Legos. That's fun. I know. Isn't that fun? That's a fun um, gift for them. <laughs> one insane gift. Just a couple weeks ago was Halloween. Okay. My kids go out get their candy from strangers, come home. They're not allowed to keep all their candy, right? They can choose a select amount, and okay. then they get a, can- a piece of candy every day for like a week or something. Sure. So um, they choose the candies, and, you know, so they each of them got like one big chocolate bar okay. or some big candy. Mm-hmm. So each of them had that that they were going to eat. My two middle children will save things for later oh. so they're like i'm not eating the big one until it's the last one okay so they've been waiting and waiting and waiting to eat these big chocolate bars i come downstairs on my birthday morning i know my son has been w- saving this chocolate bar okay i come down there it's sitting on the table for me <gasps> for my birthday that is touching isn't that so sweet it, break your heart? Sweet. it was so sweet yeah. i uh didn't want to eat it yeah, yeah. Because you, you know, had enough sweetness. I had enough sweetness already. Yeah. And I yeah. was like, dude, this has got to just be yours. Like, I don't, you can't yeah. give this to me. You got to have it. And he was uh-huh. like, no, dad, no, dad. I want you yeah. to have it. That's very nice. And uh, so we ended up splitting it. It was nice. Yeah. I got a griddle, a huge griddle. Wow. Oh, man. How many and then inches? And a turntable. How... Uh, 21, I think. 21 inch griddle. griddle. Yeah. Wow. That's one inch, be... It's one inch wide. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Twenty one inches long, <laughs> so you can make a really I can long make pancake. Several end to end pieces of bacon. Oh, okay, there you yeah. go. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> maybe two. You could maybe get two. Yeah, I think you could and get I don't even. Two. I think most pieces of bacon are wider than. So maybe they're going to s- be kind of not cooked yeah. on the end, right. on the outside. <gasps> yeah, because it's going to curl up. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Hey, that's pretty cool gift um, though. That, yeah, you probably was great. you probably wouldn't buy that for yourself. No, so. right, it's I one of those things. I wouldn't. I would have chosen. Something with a little bit more wit to a it, specialty, but, but, but it's yeah. like, yeah, but a yeah. specialty griddle, right. it's, yeah, you know, it's, it's thoughtful, cool. dude. Yeah, yeah, it spells my name out, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's not it spells your name with the griddle, it's spelled in my name. The grill oh, is okay. griddle is, so it's not just 21 inches, it's, it's not just cursive. straight, yeah, it's cursive, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> so the cooking surface is your name. So I can make a pancake. So, that's my name. So, yeah. <laughs> so you have a griddle and it's heating up, and then you just take a bowl of pancake batter and pour it, pour it over, it through over the, and you thing. maybe have a drip pan underneath yeah. to catch mm-hmm. the extra, and then you can make uh, several rounds of the. Yep. yep, that's pretty good. It's great. Happy birthday! Thank you so much. Yeah. I also got a a, a a song from Josh. Josh. Josh made me a oh yeah hilarious uh, song Josh from gave me. Him a song. Gave, gave me a scratch. Ticket, yeah. which I thought did was not a winner. It's true, and turned out to be a winner. Yeah, and it's it. It, it turned out it was just a matter of reading. <laughs> matter of reading. <laughs> Something that Caleb didn't get for his birthday. I did not get the gift read. of reading for my birthday. Um, but mm-hmm. it was confusing the way that it was written. It's pretty silly. It's not. It's not intuitive. Yeah, but it's we don't have to get not into my that. kind of. That's writing. probably. <laughs> you, do you think they do that on purpose? Yeah, I think they probably do that on oh, so purpose. So you throw out so, winners. So, so you don't. They don't throw have out to, winners. You, they don't and have to honor the winners. That, I mean, these I mean, guys. It is a whole one. game. Yeah. It is a gotta whole. Gotta hold game. their feet to the fire. They're gonna honor this one. 
Anyway, it was a great day. We watched a yeah. movie. Uh, I watched two movies, showed two my kids uh, Gru- Last Crusade. Okay. They loved it. They were jumping yeah. up and down, running around the house. Yeah. Um, they made me go back and watch the scene where the guy turns into a, an a sk- old a skeleton. Oh, yeah. Old man skeleton. They, they, they made me watch it two times. Wow. <laughs> they liked it. They were like, this is what's happening to you. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, like, you know, because yes. it's your birthday. You're yeah, aging. You're getting older, Dad. <laughs> yeah. When I was eight, we uh, ha- I had a big. This is a very formative experience. I had a big birthday party. Had a bunch of guys over for a sleepover. Nice. And we watched that movie three times in a row. <laughs> Perfect. We watched it through. We rewound it. We watched it. We rewound it. And when we, and the thing that we love the most is the jousting on yes. motorcycle scene. Yeah. And when he jams the uh-huh. the the lance through. The uh, through the wheel of the uh, the, the Nazi motorcycle, yep. yeah, right oh, into the so spokes, sick. and that flips up. We just rewound that. We've watched that like ten times. It's in the a row. best. Yeah, unexplained explosion. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> it's like it's like a Conan O'Brien Simpsons era, yeah. like where things like yes. just just right like <laughs> things explode. get pushed. Yeah. There's another scene where they're trying to take a boat through two huge steam like yes. Yes. big boats. Yes, and they're squeezing through, yeah. and the guys that are following them yeah. don't make it, and so it crushes them. Yeah. Big explosion, huge. Right. Like maybe, maybe yeah. that's real. Maybe that would happen. I don't know. But hello, it's definitely more exciting. Yeah, another, let's get Adam Savage on it. Another great scene from that is the boat is being pulled into the propeller. Mm-hmm. It's chopping away, mm-hmm. and uh, Elsa, uh, the Indiana Jones girl, mm-hmm. yeah, in this the one, Austrian. Yes, yeah. she's just waiting back in the other boat, and yeah. it's just chopping up, and slowly will kill Indiana Jones. Right. right. And the man he's caught. Yeah. Um, and it's not until he finishes his speech that she's like, okay, now I'll get now you. I'll go. Now <laughs> she's I'll go. like planned it out. That's and great. the propeller thing has no pull, has no, can't do anything to her boat. Yeah. Yeah, right. No no effect on no her. No effect on her boat. So your kids enjoyed watching this movie with you? Yeah, I was, uh, we poured, stopped down were, and I yeah. explained how these things are silly and goofy <laughs> yeah. and don't work. Yeah, 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 yeah sounds yeah. like fun. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, in uh, local news, um, we had um, a pretty crazy thing happen here. Oh, yeah. And there's another big, big evening for Caleb. Caleb, you want to tell us about it? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, it really is my birthday yesterday. Yeah. Um, is. Yes, uh, it is. It is your birthday yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> it's a strange no, that, uh, it still concept, is. but it still is. Yeah. Uh, that didn't go away. Um, yes, uh, strange happenings, guys. We lost gas, all yeah. natural gas. So if you happen to be uh, a poor, uh, one of the poor people who uses gas yeah. as your he- source of heat mm-hmm. or ways to cook or bake things, mm-hmm. you were totally out of luck. And uh, but I did not discover this happening at all. I left my house, and I decided I was going to um, buy my buy dinner for my family to give my wife a break because she's been having to really pull uh, double duty because I've been um, depressed and incapable of doing certain. Things. Oh yeah, I see why you want to so, take it. Again. Yeah, <laughs> so. Get that um, in there. I wanted to get that in there. No, but it is part of the story because yeah, yeah. I really haven't been in contact with many people. I've been very kind of like shelled in, sheltered in, yeah. just doing nothing. And I was like, I got to help out somehow. Uh, I was doing dishes every night. So it's not like I there was you doing go. it. Yeah, there you go. But um, that's probably so part I, of the problem. <laughs> hey. I climb out of my shell and get into the car and I drive to go get dinner and I go to the place and they say, oh, sorry, we can't serve you any food. The food that we can serve you is not cooked with gas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they could serve some food. Yeah. Anyway, I go to the next place. Nope, they can't serve. Next place. Whoa. No one has gas. And so then I go to the store and I pick up some food and I'm like, okay, I'll get some something that doesn't need gas to eat. <laughs> and... <laughs> And so I get some cold cuts and some bread and stuff. And it, everything is just kind of slowly dawning on me. They're like, wait, what could what could happen if we don't have gas for very long? Mm-hmm. So as I go through from store to store, I'm just increasingly getting more and more concerned about different things, more paranoid about different things. I have no real firm grasp on reality at this point in my day and mm-hmm. my week. 
And so I'm just kind of like, I'm just following whims. Right. <laughs> Basically. Based, well, and based like, on conversations you're hearing I'm hearing around, people or? talk about the okay. gas outage. I've, I talk, I, yeah. I spoke to someone at the Pizza Hut that I wanted to see if they had yeah. pizza food for me. Pizza food. Pizza food. And <laughs> they, I made her come over to the window yeah. door, unlock the door, and tell me why they weren't open, even yeah. though I already <laughs> knew. <laughs> You've been to Which, several restaurants. I've been to by several restaurants, point. and I was like, I could have guessed, but I wanted yeah. to see. I wanted her to work. <laughs> yep. it's a little bit more. It's a bit. I'm sure she'll yes. love. Oh yeah. man! Yeah. So she she told me, yeah, maybe maybe not for like two weeks. We won't have gas. Wow. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Uh, so I was getting like kind of worried. And, yeah. and this is an and as somebody who has enjoyed the fruits of depression. Yes. Um, it's negative thinking. So you're already I'm in already a headspace of like, totally. uh-huh. yeah, and oh, I'm things like, could be bad. I was like, the idea was I'll go out and provide something for my family. I've been really bad at doing this <laughs> <laughs> for the last few days. I'll provide something for my family. And then I'm like, I'm going to have to provide a lot for my yeah. family. To really so to make up for things. Right. As I track things down, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get some more baked goods at the store that I'm getting food at because they're not going to be able to bake bread. Mm-hmm. So I'll get some extra baked goods. So I do that. And then I leave that place and I'm heading home and I'm like, no. Because wait, if there's no gas, that means that I'm not going to be able to heat my house. It's getting colder. My pipes are going to burst. I need some way to provide heat yeah. for my house. So I go to Walmart. And it's, I go to Walmart, I get in there, and I'm like, this is already weird, but like, stuff's already coming off the shelves. Yeah. People are already buying up all the heaters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything. And there's a guy who comes up and pulls some stuff out for the back, and he's got a big kerosene heater. Mm-hmm. And like, I've already got like a portable uh, 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 propane heater, and I'm like, I'll take one of these big kerosene guys. I love these. Two. And I'll take two of these uh, heat, of these tower heaters. Ceramic, like ceramic heater tower towers, heaters. Yeah. I've got like two huge jugs of kerosene. Nice. A bunch of propane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, all of a sudden I had all this stuff. I go out and I pay like, it's like $400 for all this stuff. And I, I like buy it and I'm like, wait, we have nothing to cook. We don't have any way to cook food because of our stove. Right. This is none of this will help with cooking. Right. So I go back and I buy an air fryer <laughs> and an instant pot. I'm just like drop. I'm like, this it's gonna be better to have this stuff than not have it. Yeah. I don't know if this is true. Yeah. So I'm going, but carefully keeping the receipts. I'm not totally insane. Right. Uh and and so I, I get back in my car and I'm driving home and I'm like, we don't have food. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I should have that was the whole food. point. That was yes. why you went out. Well, I right. got some food for the oh, okay. night. Right. But you then I was like thinking, and, yeah. I was like, if every if yeah. if society collapses, we should have some yeah. dry beans. Yeah. yeah. And so oh, you need beans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go to the store and I buy a bunch of beans. Yeah. Anyway, I ended up spending like almost a thousand dollars in one <laughs> evening. Because I got freaked out <laughs> my first time leaving the house in a week. You like come out of the hole and you're time. like, oh, what's going it's on? It's bad out here. Yeah. It's real Stuff. bad out yeah. here. That's but I had time. no idea that the gas was out when I left the house. Yeah. So I went out to get, like, what, spend like 50 bucks, 60 bucks on dinner for my yeah. family and came back, like, yeah. you know, almost $1,000 in the hole. Yeah. That's amazing. But I mean, at That's least great. you did have the clarity of mind to realize that if society collapses, the only suitable replacement for society is beans. Beans, <laughs> baby. You got to have some beans. You beans and beans. rice. Got it's water. Only thing that Staples could fill for that for a reason. Yeah. yeah. It, I was like, I'm primed for this, though, because I remember when COVID happened, I was like, I right. don't know. I didn't do anything. Yeah. I wasn't prepared. Yeah. I had nothing. Yeah. And I was like, right. I'm just lucky that it wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, it was kind of crazy, and we hedged our bets a little bit, but I was not at all prepared to be yeah. like, without anything. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to be prepared. Yeah, I was one of those that. guys that didn't do that, didn't prepare, ended up having to buy scented toilet paper a few weeks in. Oh, yeah. my god! And that was hell. Yeah. That was hell. That hell was, yeah, in a lot of ways. Yeah. That was kind of our, your Vietnam. Yeah. <laughs> I was in it. I was deep in it. It was your 9-11. <laughs> yeah. Well, I saw that. I, I was think there 9/11 for that. was his 9/11. I remember oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That was all yeah. of our 9/11. Yeah. You <laughs> remember 9/11? Well, I like to. I generally like to follow orders. Yeah, he's been told to never not forget. forget it. <laughs> not never forget. <laughs> never never <laughs> forget it, dude. Never forget it, dude. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, it was. Um, it was a huge tragedy. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was. Yeah, that, I I totally mean, that was. Happen. It was. There's no it was, reason to laugh awful. about that. I, th- I'm no, not laughing. We're not I just laughing wasn't. I couldn't think about anything to say. Yeah, yeah. Other than to remark the on the magnitude yeah. of how truly sad uh, it, how it was. Awful. A sad time. I will say I was pretty much just about self-preservation. Then I didn't care too much about what sure. happened. I was just afraid of what would happen. Because mm-hmm. a plane went down in Pennsylvania where we lived at the time. Yeah. Yeah. And so I was like, the terrorists are going to come to rural yeah. Pennsylvania and right. yeah. kill me. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. 11 year old, 10 I mean, year old. If they knew it was good for them, they would have. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to, I've been really hard on terrorists. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Start. All of Kill's personal yeah. policies have been <laughs> severely anti terrorist. Very up. influential policies. Yeah. You're going to go over there, clear out the caves pretty soon here. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Dude, pull a yeah, pull a machine gun priest. Uh, yeah, right, thing. exactly. Yeah. Get pretty, get pretty hardcore into that oh, sort of. Yeah, it's always been a dream of yours. Speaking of dreams, this week we have a um, question from a frequent listener contributor, um, and we will listen to that now. His name is Justin. Jordan. Oh, oh, oh yeah, no, hold. Jordan, Justin, Justin, That's right. it is Justin, Justin, and um, he's a short little man, according to Gabe. I didn't say it. Gabe said it. Yeah, several episodes I back. I didn't say it this time. Um, well, just so people get him. Yeah, when this no, guy's speaking. He's like wanna, closer to the ground. We want to paint a picture. Yeah, that's why. That's why <laughs> some of the reverb is coming back up off the crowd. It's a really hear it in the recording. interesting uh, phenomenon. He mm-hmm. doesn't have a voice memo chair that he sits in that but pushes him. Up. I don't know. I guess I, you maybe know, he does. I, I hate. I, I really don't like the. I, that was my fault, and I was kind of just looking for something, and then I called him a short little man. Yeah. I don't want to... Let's walk that back. Yeah, let's walk it back. Yeah. Just because I, I like Justin a lot. I do too. I don't care about how tall he is. That's I don't either. It doesn't... Uh, it's, it's, it's good not to a know problem. sometimes. Like, no. if you're buying him a gift. Yeah. Yeah, don't yeah. don't get him, you know, a basketball hoop. Yeah, <laughs> get him a ladder. <laughs> get him a ladder. He loves a stepping, basketball. A big he does like hoop. basketball. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Is that's, it because... So actually, like, a basketball hoop would probably be a, be a good, good gift for him. Gift. But get one that's adjustable. Well, <laughs> yeah, it could come down. It can come down. Yeah, yeah. get maybe get uh, one of those and a ladder. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys know that you can shoot a basketball? You don't just this is, have to. I'm pretty dunk. sure Josh is talking about the dunk only, the dunk yeah, only or, hoop. How, how do you guys play? <laughs> Josh, is, only dunks count. Josh, only dunks dunks count. Dunks. And I, I play ten feet, <laughs> ten yeah, foot, three point, point dunks. <laughs> <laughs> Three point dunk, dude. Yeah, he's dunking from half court. Mm-hmm. Right. Josh just like flies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've, I I do a lot of um, calf raises. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. They, some people mistake him for a farmer <laughs> raising calves. Right. Raising, raising calves. So many calves. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Guys, when he's that's... playing basketball, some people are like, "Is that guy a farmer? <laughs> Is that guy a farmer? Holy crap! <laughs> Look at him raise those calves. Who let this farmer on the court?" <laughs> Uh, but let's listen to Justin. Oh, guys, I'm so thankful you're here. I need to tell you, last night I had a dream that I had a cavity that went horizontally through my teeth, like a, like a wormhole, just starting in one tooth that went all the way through the others. And I didn't have money to pay for it. And because of that, my wife left me. And I was looking for anybody who could fix my teeth so I could get my wife back. And this baboon came up to me and he says, Justin, I will take you to a land where you do not need teeth. And he led me through this purple tunnel, a long purple tunnel. And at the end, I had a unicorn horn and I had no teeth. And he said, welcome to the land where you don't need any teeth. And I go to pick a piece of fruit from this huge tree and it's a gobstopper. And I realize all of the food there is gobstoppers. And, and he just starts laughing at me and I and I woke up in a cold sweat, and then I woke up. I was, I was wondering if you guys could interpret this dream. My question is, can you interpret this dream? And what is your interpretation? Two questions. Can you and will you? Thanks, guys. I always appreciate. All right. And we always appreciate Justin. We appreciate Justin. So nice. Um, I mean, I think I can answer this for us. What? Does this two questions? Yeah. Can we? Yes and yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> there Done. we go. Done. Done. Once, th- yeah. And, and so stop. 
Okay, well, why no. we have to stop? <laughs> I would say that well, if, if you're saying yes, we can interpret the dream. Yeah. That would imply there's an implied description of what our interpretation is, and yeah. you know, ex, ex, uh, like can we interpret? On that. I see what you're and, saying. Yeah. And would and would we? And will yeah. we? We yes, we will next well, week. In or, right? <laughs> 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 I mean, it is Caleb's birthday episode. It's Caleb's so. birthday episode. <laughs> No, we should do it right now. Okay, okay that was all okay. just a big joke. That's a joke. Okay, and yeah. one thing that I think is interesting here is is doesn't this dream seem fake? Yes, it's doesn't this seem hundred percent not like a real dream? Not more like a real dream. It sounds fake. No, it it sounds, sounds fake, fake to me. Made I've up. never had a dream about a monkey, so I'm pretty sure <laughs> other people couldn't. <laughs> so I just I, I, I it seems like the kind of thing that um, you make up mm-hmm. so you have something to say. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a big that's a big accusation. Um, but um, for sure, such a short. <laughs> <laughs> but what one thing one thing um, that I mean I'm. Here's what I think. I think that part of it is probably real. I think yeah. that there's a germ sure. of truth in the dream. And let's yeah. figure it out. Oh, I've and dreamed about teeth. Yeah, I, exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah. We, teeth we've dreams. dreamed about teeth. Sure. Uh, yes, I have. Yeah. Yep. I've dreamed about teeth. Uh, you know, but once once somebody's ending up with a unicorn horn, I'm like, that didn't. That no, didn't sure. No, didn't no, 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 no. There's yeah. just no. There's just no way. There's no way you do that in there's, a dream. Right. Well, there's an element of which that in which that is a dream. Right. But it's not necessarily like one that you would have while you're. This is exactly this is one. It's because I think that even if the dream is fake, it's still coming right. from from Justin. Yeah. Well, it's he interesting has a to hear. Desire. It's interesting happy to hear birthday. what what Justin thinks a dream is. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So a dream. Well, okay. So this is what would happen in a dream that you can make that, up that you think of. Yes. yes. This is what you think a dream is like. This is what Justin thinks a dream is like. Right. right. Could 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 uh, the point also be made that this is no different than any other dream because he just made up. He would just make up the other <laughs> yeah, dreams. Any, any His other brain way. would have so made it up. But it's there's a this, conscious versus subconscious sort of aspect yeah. that we're getting into. And in that way, right. all stories are sort of just dreams. Dreams, it's really. True. Yeah. Fundamentally. Yeah. Yeah, and when you some, come down to it. some dreams are stories. Stories are just dreams that your brain knows about. <laughs> <laughs> Let's. I mean, can we unpack? Unpack? Can you unpack that for us? <laughs> Could you? I don't know, guys. Can I'm, you? I'm actually just coming out of a fugue state. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Um, right. No, what I mean is conscious, like you were saying. Okay. Like there's something uh, about your dreams that's unconscious, and it's something it's something truly felt and sincere yeah. right. that exists there. Whereas when you try to cobble together something that sounds dreamlike, there's a level of uh, disingenuousness mm-hmm. there, yeah. there, 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 yeah, there, yeah, there, 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 there. Okay, oh, I'm we're coming fine. back. Hey, Caleb, hey, Caleb. Back in a few I know you're a little. <laughs> I know you're a little upset, but they're there. Jo- Josh and I are fine. <laughs> It seems like you're uh, projecting that a little bit Im- that impulse to comfort. There, 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 there. Where, 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 where? Um, okay, okay. We love we love jokes and having a good time, but let's yeah, let's, let's get actually to, get serious. Yeah, let's actually get serious and figure so, this out. So, so the issue here is that Justin's teeth. It must be. I wonder if there's a if there there's a hole through both sets of teeth because mm. there can't be one hole. That goes uh, that goes through. You're saying horizontal. He was horizontal like this. Oh no! One, see, but I like was the thinking top one. straight through, straight through from the inside, from the outside in. So, but I'm so, saying it starts at the back and goes all the way through but, around to the other side. But that's different than what I'm saying. I'm saying through a single tooth, a whole. Caleb is saying he had a wormhole that went through all of his teeth. All of his teeth. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's basically starting at the Ooh. neck face, the back of your tooth. Yeah. The back of your tooth that faces your neck. Right. <laughs> your neck facing tooth. <laughs> I understood. <laughs> and then your molars. It goes, yeah, your molars. But I'm just saying the the neck facing <laughs> side. The neck side facing of molar. Of your yeah. tooth. Oh, of yeah, your yeah, molar. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And then it goes all. Well, and I don't know if this guy's got, got wisdom teeth in there or what. Right, I don't sure, know if sure, those sure. are. I mean, hey, you ask me. <laughs> he could use some. <laughs> um, I, I don't actually know what that means yeah. about <laughs> Justin. <laughs> But anyway, he's got a hole that goes from the neck facing back side of the tooth. Right. Yeah. All the way around curving through with the hole. front with the teeth yeah. to the to the other side. That hole has to be so specific. Well, that's a dream. 
The, see, this sure. is to me, this is the most likely the truest part, part of, the of a dream. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, that yeah. does seem like something that that your dream yes. logic would right. do. Right, right. right. where it's like so. this is not possible, but it is so happening. Right, it's yeah. happening. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you can make a nice necklace out of those teeth. It, I mean, they're ready. They're ready. They're begging for a begging for a necklace. True. You just run, for a string. A you string just run a kind. bit of dental floss through there, and then yeah. you just yank yep. them all out at once. That way, now, yeah. You could tie it around Perfect. somebody else's neck, mm -hmm. and then they could just yank their head back, and That's, then they would immediately yeah, have yeah, a, a necklace, necklace of your a perfect teeth. Mask. That's yes. good. So, you could try dreaming about that, Justin. That might be fun. Yeah, but uh, anyway, we're Josh. It seemed like you were headed somewhere. Well, so that. I just was gonna, you know, in order to kind of, to me, when I'm interpreting dreams, I like to think about sort of what's the what's the anxiety. Yeah. Sure. of the dream yeah. right the anxiety here is uh is that this his loss of teeth causes his wife to yeah. to leave him yeah. right so um you know he 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 feels in some way mm -hmm. that his wife is is with him for his teeth for, for his, his teeth, teeth. Yeah. or perhaps just looks in general there's sure there's something else here that made me think of which is that um there's something he should be doing that he's not that right. will mm. end like, cause you don't get a you don't get an insane cavity like that, right? If you're taking care of your teeth, right. even in a dream, yeah. Um, so if you're not doing the right. daily disciplines, that's an anxiety. That, that's you know, an that, yeah, that could lead to a dream like this. Then you end up in a position where your wife will leave you, right? Yeah. So maybe yeah. that's more of what it so is. So could be and could she be that says, too. You're too short. Your teeth are bad. Yeah, yeah. I'm out. We yeah. could prescribe <laughs> some things. Might be. Don't spend so much time with your family and brush your teeth more. Yeah, yeah. Might take help. a break. Just a yeah. little bit less time with your family. Yeah, yeah. right. It doesn't take long. Two yeah. minutes. That's, two, well, yeah. it's two minutes twice a day. Sure. And then flossing. Yeah, sure. there's flossing So it's involved. about 10 minutes. It's, it's about 10 minutes. You're right. Golly. Five you're minutes in the morning, five minutes Oh, I night. see what you're saying. I see. I see. So yeah. you're flossing three minutes, top and bottom. That's too long. Uh, I, I just, I'm, I'm just saying, it's let's, let's not rush, <laughs> let's not rush through it. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm not saying, I'm saying well, even numbers, we're, Leisurely. Talking, about, we're yeah. talking about 10 minutes. All right. Yeah, I agree. If you got a, you got a, you got a water pick maybe. Yeah. I do. Yep. I have one. And you, you're caring for those gums. You got to start, got to get the engine going on yep. that. Yep. Ring, Sometimes ring, that can be the choke can stick a little bit. That can be tough. And when you have a, I, and I do have a gas powered right, water pit. Right, exactly. And I, and I, you know, oftentimes yeah. if I don't turn yeah. on the fan in the bathroom, happy I'm, birthday, Caleb. I'm spending some time asleep on the floor due to the fumes not being ventilated from the room. Yeah. So it can add up. Yeah. <laughs> It definitely oh, can. Oh, my mouth is so healthy. Yeah, exactly. Ah! Hold on. <laughs> You're, he's screaming because his mouth is <laughs> too healthy. Okay. It's... Ah, my mouth. I have hardly got any gums left. Ah! It's mostly teeth. <laughs> Why does his voice sound no, like it's Because that. my gums are gone. <laughs> Okay. But that, that's not healthy. Just teeth. If, if your mouth is healthy. Get rid of the thing that causes the most trouble. Gums. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, you're going to get rid of the gums. <laughs> Where are your teeth going to go, because Caleb? They're just sticking in there. <laughs> just like... <laughs> just, just like a skeleton's mouth. Just hanging. Wow. I don't like that. I don't like thinking about okay. that. Okay. I feel we've gotten <laughs> somewhat off track. I don't know. <laughs> well, because the next question is about the baboon, right? Right. Well, then yeah. we go, there's a baboon that says, I'll take you to a place where you don't need teeth. Sure. Okay. Um, and um, and then he goes through a purple tunnel, ends up with a unicorn horn. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then goes and takes a piece of fruit from the tree. Yeah. Right, the tree is the fruit is gobstopper. Fruit is gobstopper. So you don't need teeth for gobstoppers. That's but true. But then he's laughing, I think, as if to say, "I got you. You do need teeth for." Well, it's not very. I th I felt like you. Well, you don't need. You don't. I, I know for gobstoppers. This was my complaint but, with it. But I'm not. But but I think maybe it's just. Well, that's not very good food. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. You're not okay. Survive very it's well. True. Right. It's true that you don't need teeth, but. It's not actual fruit. Yeah, it's not really fruit. Yeah, it's just sugar. There would yeah. be ways to eat fruit without teeth, yeah. as in juice, banana, yeah. 
I mean, a banana, banana you can just oh, jam yeah. that up with your tongue until it's gloop and then just swallow it down. Yep. Oh, man. Yeah. That's good. Anybody jam else hungry? Oh, <laughs> I... No, I'm not. <laughs> I, uh, that just made me think of the smell of like yeah. banana pulp. Like, I know. Bananas. Yeah. yeah. It's not a good, it's not a good smell. Really? It's you not. guys aren't hungry for nanners? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, no. Nanners. Really? Okay. I'm never hungry for nanners. Basically. I could go for a, a bowl of brown nanners <laughs> right <laughs> now. Oh, Delicately <laughs> browned. <laughs> yeah. Golly. Just the top. Almost so that you're like, is that caramelized? No, no. Oh, it's, it's just, not, it's just, just old. oxidized. <laughs> just old. Mmm. <laughs> Give me those nanners. <laughs> you can play the old game caramel or old. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But the, so I'm not sure where to go with that, the interpretation from there. There's a baboon that shows up. Yeah. Sounds like Lion King stuff. Yeah. Sure. Um, a Rafiki type. A Rafiki t- uh, type, type in terms of like typology. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Yes. You know. Um, but and, also b- baboon. But also, yeah. A baboon. A, a, a baboon. baboon. Yeah. yeah. Baboon. Yes, so the baboon is like his quite his leader. Yeah, is teaching him. Yeah, what's up? Is that the best teacher? I don't know. I guess you don't get to choose that in the dream. Yeah, yeah. Of all the primates, I also wouldn't go. I don't think I would follow a a baboon because they they're not even apes, right? They're monkeys, isn't that? I don't know. Like, like they don't. Uh, really, they have a tail. Tans. They have a big tail. You're right. Yeah. They have a big tail, so they're monkey, and they. Uh, yeah, Do baboons have. I don't think they, they have, have tail. I don't, I don't think have they have. They have tails. huge tails. Really? They're all t- baboons are all tail. No, they're <laughs> dude. Baboons they're, are mostly tail. They're no. big red tail oh, that oh, just kind of oh, circles. Oh, 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 I see. I see. Okay. Yes. Okay, that kills is. They don't bring it out yeah. very often. Right. Right. Yeah. No, the, they, they keep it up. curled up. <laughs> On their posterior. Oh, oh, I thought you just were referring to their butts as tail. Yeah. Like in, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like in locker room type talk. Yeah. Locker room talk. Which is not talk. really what we do. We here. don't do locker room talk. We do like lobby talk. Yeah. Boys won't yeah. be boys. Boys yeah. will be Out in the lobby of the school. <laughs> yeah. 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 Boys gentle. will be gentlemen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> boys. Boys. All, all you boys listening. Yeah. Please hey, be gentlemen. Hey. It's time to no, become but, gentlemen. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't listen to a baboon. Uh, I probably wouldn't listen to an ape, to be honest. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's a dream scenario, so I'll give you, you know. Yeah. So yeah. never mind. Right there. Just do what he says. Yeah. No, it does. That that's <laughs> fine. But it but it is interesting. So in Justin's in in Justin's uh, dream world and his logic, his mentor, mm-hmm. the guide that's been given to him, yeah, is subverting him. Right. Okay, so yeah. we and we don't know. I don't understand exactly the nature of this trick. Sure, if it is that the, that gobstoppers are not healthy food mm-hmm. that will keep you running, right? Um, so, but but it does seem like while the your 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 wife has left you, and now all help that's been given to yeah. you is 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 laughing at you, right? Yes, like your your mentor is against you. Right. It doesn't seem it's the solution has almost it's like, well, isn't the problem the problem is he doesn't have teeth, so he right. needs to go somewhere where you can live without teeth. Yeah. But also having someone close to you, like it doesn't solve the problem of the wife at all. Right. Right. Yeah, it's not it's not like his wife will be like, Well, at least you can eat gobstoppers, so I will come I will back. continue to be with you. Yeah. Can you yeah, yeah can no. he can he go back through the portal and go like return to his can That's you still part access of the land where all the gobstoppers are and just eat? I mean, do you want to keep existing if you're only eating gobstoppers? Yeah. Probably not. I think it, I think, if I'm trying to really think yeah. about the meaning of this, um, us, and including all of the kind of BS that he added in there. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Then, B-H. Um, uh, what, bull hockey? Bull honky. Honky. Bull honk. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of swallow that that honk. Honk. Yeah. Okay. Um, then I guess what I, I'm trying to. Yeah. Okay. Let's. <laughs> sorry. You really kind of screwed me up with that bull honk <laughs> comment. Um, I, I think w- the point is that you need to be doing the things in your life, the daily tasks mm-hmm. to maintain yourself, or else you're going to end up in a place. That's not good for you. Where you're trying to maintain something that you lost 
you're trying to maintain living even though yeah. you lost this critical part of your life hmm. and you're trying to maintain it but the way that you're going to maintain it is going to eventually kill you and give you diabetes yeah yeah it seems like a so so i mean w- one way of approaching it is not this is this dream is telling you how things are sure it's telling you how you believe mm. things are yeah mm. right yeah mm-hmm. this is an important advanced answering technique totally is to be able to step outside of this and go okay if this is something my mind is doing to me right right there's a component of it showing me my anxieties Mm -hmm. it's showing me what i'm concerned about and it's showing me what i think the lay of the land is yep so pay attention to that yeah pay attention to um you know uh the way that you're thinking about your wife. Yeah. Right. You and know? the way you relate to the your way wife. You relate to your wife. You know, try to try to actually try to, you know, try to actually yeah. create some like some real, you know, emotional intimacy there and yeah. not just have it be, you know, based purely on physical attraction. Right. right. Which is I think at the heart of this. You're worried that this is what your entire uh marriage is based right. on is is um, you know, that that you're so attractive to your wife right, and right. your teeth and you're, you know, you're the, just the right size and everything yep. and height. Right. So it's like, that's what you're thinking is going to be the foundation of right. your marriage moving forward. And it doesn't yeah. have to be because actually people don't talk about this a lot, but there is a pretty big, a pretty big part of marriage is actually emotional intimacy. Yes. So maybe try spending some time I have to disagree with that. Oh, Gabe. okay. You th- you don't you, you don't, don't believe so. in emotional part of marriage, intimacy. Well, it can be part of it, but a oh. big part is going to be manipulation. <laughs> yeah, um, right. And manipulating each other in certain ways. Yeah. Like my advice would be, get some kind of mouth guard that makes it look like you don't have teeth. Put it in one night. Mm. Wake up, look at your wife. Yeah. So what's up? See what she does. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, test her a little bit. So, so you think the the in, one interpretation of the dream is your your mind is telling you, "Hey, check this out and see." <laughs> mm-hmm. Just it, try to do exactly what happened in the dream. Use this, yeah, to see what what how how your wife is reacting to you, yes. how she's thinking of you. No abstraction, right? Just yeah, okay. do exactly. Just do exactly what it says. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Try so, and see where it goes. The see dream, if it follows out. Right. See see what happens mm. next. Yeah. You have no teeth. Your wife leaves you. Yeah. And then next thing you know, here's a here's a baboon. Is it, yeah. baboon? Is it a premonition or is it a and then a you know where the projection, you know? Where the line between truth and uh and um lies is. Uh yeah. I don't know, somewhere in like Kentucky or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Truth County and Lies right. County. <laughs> <laughs> they have a pretty big rivalry. <laughs> yeah. Right below them is yeah. Dubious County. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, there's kind boy. of a weird... Yeah. All right, you guys want to a... kill me after this? No. Kill you? Just kill me. I... No, dude. No, yeah. we don't have to because they're already going to slay you in the comments, my <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm Sorry, killed. Sorry, That's dude. why I want you guys to actually kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'm not going to be able to look at these comments. <laughs> Can you, you my no. brothers, murder me? <laughs> the only That's solution fine. is... Judge, that. he asked us. <laughs> <laughs> he knew he was going to get slayed <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> this is cyberbullying. Yeah. Well. <laughs> and it's worse. Yeah, right. Yeah, Turning we're brother like, against brother. Yeah. Yeah. We're like, this is what cyberbullying leads to. We He told us to kill him, and we did. <laughs> so <laughs> that's where this whole thing goes. We were yep. afraid he was going to yeah. roast us online if we didn't murder well, him. Because, <laughs> well, and we thought that maybe if he reads these comments, he gets sad, kills himself. Right. So we just thought. Hey, might as well. He might not do it very He's well. already, listen, he's already in a pretty tenuous place. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. Before this. It's coming It's going to take one other right. public utility going down before he yeah. just bought, I'm going to go down. He yeah. just bought a bunch of he's heresy. in <laughs> debt. <laughs> yeah. He's, I have not returned these he's things put yet. all this yeah. on his credit card and, you know, yeah. yeesh, the way interest rates are these yeah, days. Oh, man. And when you guys kill me, though... Yeah. We're gonna use the water pick. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Bore a hole right <laughs> through your forehead. 
<laughs> and was... maybe that's the first step is just use a water pick to lobotomize your brother. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that, that, I was going to say for help. tooth for teeth care. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's back true. to Justin's problem. <laughs> is there, you know, I think we've fleshed the whole thing out. It looks pretty... It, it looks pretty like like a pretty easy fix. Yeah, yeah. Um, or you could maybe just try to get a different job where you have you know g- uh, you know dental care coverage, right. make more money so you can pay for dental insurance. Yeah, that you know it that sounds like it could actually be part of the anxiety there. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and and as Caleb pointed out, that daily um, tooth care routine can can go a long way too. Yeah. It doesn't oh, yeah. cost much. Right. To just to just pay attention and and brush your teeth twice a day. Per- personally, for me, this is the, I, I've really got my tooth care routine locked down. Yeah, nice. I've heard about some new advancements. Yeah. in that area for you oh, also. I I've always hear. I'm, well, I've always struggled with uh, brushing my teeth at night. Mm. It's not that I don't brush my teeth at night. It's that if there, if I'm going to miss one, that's the one. Interesting. And it's the most important. It's definitely the it's most the more important. complete important, opposite yeah, for, sure. for me. For yeah, sure. I know. We you you, you <sighs> talked to, you talked about this. I, think I basically it's... never brush them in the morning. Really, Yikes. basically never. Okay. Yikes! But um, floss every night. Yeah, floss. Oh, that's very good. Oh, I floss Blood, every brush every night. I try to floss and brush every night, and it's making I do the dance. such a huge huge difference. You do a dance. The okay, floss dance. The floss. Da- oh, oh, you floss. That's what I mean. Yeah. Oh, right. okay. You don't actually floss your teeth. No, no, then, no. Then I'm no. not really sure how we got here, Caleb. Caleb's just, he's it's just, just celebrating. Care. He's I, bragging, actually, because what he means is that he he wins games of Fortnite every night and mm, does the floss. I do the floss. Do the, does does floss. The floss. I do the floss. And then I go upstairs and I put uh, string What's around your, my fingers and yeah. put it between my teeth. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So you do, you do that. <laughs> sure, if you want to call it that. <laughs> if I want to call flossing, <laughs> flossing? <laughs> that kind of flossing, yes. yes. Okay. I, sorry, the other one has kind of become preeminent it's, in my mind. It's yeah. just the more important <laughs> flossing. I yeah. see. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, no, it's made such a huge difference in my life, and my dentist has has really complimented me. I, you know, I have a very, I have a good relationship with my yes. dentist. He has taught me to forgive myself. Um, yeah, my dentist did, he, he said, I, 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 during COVID, after COVID, ra- rather, I said, yeah, you know, I haven't, haven't really been doing as well with my tooth care. And he said, you know, this is a time when we can really uh, forgive ourselves. <laughs> and uh, it's a good thing to learn how to do. Dude. I... And, uh, and so he did help me learn to forgive myself. <laughs> do you mean that sincerely? I, th- that's what he told me. Yeah. Wow. He told I mean, me, I you just can saw forgive the man... yourself for not brushing your teeth. I just saw the man this morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I took yeah. my kids in. Yeah. And yeah, he's such a funny guy. Yeah. I really do like him. Oh yeah. I really do like him. I think he's somewhat sincere. Oh, well, <laughs> hey, you've got to listen. Um as someone who who sat in a room adjacent to an exam room where um our dad would have clients come in constantly. Yeah. And you would hear his patter. Yeah. You know, he had yeah. he had shtick that he did. And yeah. this is not a criticism of my father at all. No. This is a necessity of dealing with the public. You've got to have right. totally ways of, you know, the kind of your go to stuff. So I knew like his rundown on rabies vaccines yeah. and yeah. and you know, the jokes that he would use and talking about I could do like the heartworm medication thing. Yeah. yeah. Word for word. <laughs> you know? Um, by the and, way, by the way, our dad was a veterinarian. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. That that is our <laughs> medication. Yeah. Was, and uh, so, so anyway, you've got to have the point is you got to have that. Stuff. Some people tried to convince him not to just be a veterinarian right. while they were in the clinic with him. Yes. Some people, clients would come in. Yeah. Not patients. Right. These are clients, and yeah. they would be like, "Hey, Mr. Stevenson, could you look at this?" Yeah. <laughs> totally. Well, I was there Insane. for some. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what the statute of limitations is on <laughs> committing surgery on humans. <laughs> <laughs> committing <laughs> surgery. <laughs> like there, the table. <laughs> You're fixing a cat <laughs> on top of a man. <laughs> it's like a like a like one of those sushi. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes. But yeah. Um, Guys, well, that's really nice, Josh. That, yeah, yeah. So it, maybe get yourself. a new dentist, Justin. Forgive yourself and move on. Forgive yourself, move Justin. Up. Or or go get a dentist that can give you little 
nuggets of of wisdom like this. Absolutely, this guy here. and and I don't and and in in <laughs> okay there, there 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 <laughs> there 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 I I, I believe he, Justin presents his relationship with his wife as somewhat embattled. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there they have conflicts over oatmeal and but I I don't, I don't believe I don't believe that that's the true core of Justin's relationship right. with his wife. Justin's a good guy. Yeah. I'm sure that he chose a good woman. And uh, I don't think he has to worry about this. Yeah. No. I Let really it go. don't. Forgive I, yourself. Move on. Yeah, move fine. up. Take I, care of those teeth. Just coast. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, get what up, we're saying. Well, just that's coast. the idea. Just the, idea coast is you, along. the idea is you get up to the top and then you just yeah. coast. You just coast yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. Just coast down. <laughs> just <laughs> coast down. <laughs> just watch it. Yeah. Just watch it on your way down. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of. <laughs> you don't want to interrupt <laughs> as you fall. As you're descending. Yeah. Just watch your relationship. Yeah. Get it, stronger. Yeah. <laughs> As it grows in strength, <laughs> kind of like a like a snowball next yeah. to you. Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Your wife is a big snowball. Your wa- your your wife. Oh, is, sorry. Your wife's on the other side of the big snowball. Right. Yes. The relationship your wife is, is between you. Guys. You yeah. you guys. This has been fun. Oh um, man, I enjoyed every other minute of it. I feel like about. I feel like I didn't really use much of my birthday permissions. No. Oh really? Did you think I did? No, well, no. I mean, I think, I think, uh, I think it's your birthday. <laughs> yeah, I think. I, it, I mean, it, it is, is my your birthday, birthday yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is still too. It still, it still is my birthday yeah. yesterday. And that's what's nice. I mean, that's that will change. That yeah. fact will change tomorrow. But uh, true. Your uh, but your but your birthday will. St- yeah. yeah. Th- then you'll be able to say it is my birthday two days ago. Yeah. Right. And Which that, will be fun, and I'll do it. That'll that's great. Yeah, that is great. I can't wait for that. <laughs> so, um, please send in your questions. Um, you see how we've dealt so handily with Justin's question yeah. here. Yeah. Um, no question is too difficult for us, even in the matter of the interpretation of dreams. Right. Um, so please send in an audio file about a minute in length. Okay. Yeah. To advanced answering techniques at gmail.com we'll be happy to get right to that and i think if you want you can put one in a bottle throw it in the ocean get get it to us that way too just yeah. see what happens we're not this is not a particularly coastal podcast no but it's gonna I mean, be this, hard the snake river yeah you know it's 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 long and winding we're about Pe- 30... people made their way, way way here eventually yeah yeah, yeah yeah we're about 30 minutes from the furthest inland port yeah <laughs> Yeah, so, so that's pretty. That's, that's actually pretty good considering pretty good. how far inland we are. Yeah. Well, I think you gotta give some, maybe some directions on that. If you put an apple tag on the bottle and sure. let us know yeah. when it's hit, yeah, the yeah. furthest inland port. Yeah. An air tag. Put an air tag on the in the bottle. Yeah. In the bottle. With the or, message. Mm-hmm. You could just send it to advanced answering techniques at gmail dot com, yeah. and we'd get to it there. And hey, I'd love to see. Yeah, that's new, fine. I guess. Because I know that there's more than just two listeners to this podcast. I know that there's at least twice that. So yeah. let's get a new person some sending something yeah. in. Yeah, we, we could get that third or fourth listener. Maybe to it's send Caleb's in. birthday present. Yeah. Oh, you know, that would maybe be it's my birthday present. It's coming up. It's yeah. only a couple. I don't months. know, a couple months away. So just start thinking about yeah. that, okay? What would Gabe like on his birthday? Think about all of the birthday gifts we've given you throughout the right. last. Two years. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Every week. You could a basically birthday gift. Eight you you could give Gabe eight birthday gifts. Yeah. Thank you. Every week. A new a new question for yeah. Gabe until his birthday. Please. Eight. Oh, oh, I see. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's my my birthday wish. My simple birthday wish. Yeah. Simple wish for a simple man. Yep. Thank coming you. up coming up next, we've got uh I'm sure something about Thanksgiving. Sure. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I mean, probably but, some dumb thing uh, about Thanksgiving. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure we'll at least talk about. We'll it. probably talk about. Yeah, it, so. we'll probably be on here uh, talking turkey, <laughs> dude. Yeah, you guys want? Let's talk about how much we paid for our turkeys. I didn't pay anything for my turkey. Well, next week. Next. Yeah. Oh yeah, next week we'll get around to it. Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey. We'll get into the, the brining process. Did you guys know, <laughs> notice at the local? St- grocery store that there's it says no turkeys allowed at self-checkout and i was like well i guess i can't well, go through the ter- self-checkout <laughs> oh, now yeah. no turkeys allowed dude Thank that you. is what my children would say to me yes and with that 
thank you so much for listening. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Hey, Hansen. Justin. Thank you so much. Thanks Hansen. for having us, Josh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And thanks for coming with me, Caleb. Hansen. Hansen. Mm, Bob. Hansen. Mm-hmm. Hands out. Bob. <laughs> Bye. 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 My friends are swell. Yeah, really great. They only lie to me when I'm awake. They're shoveling crap. They hardly take a break. Their questions are false and their dreams are fake. Just like your girlfriend from Tokyo, she doesn't seem real. You can be my Pinocchio. You can be real you can be real with me we could share we could both go deep i've got some spoiling secrets that you could keep share the real dreams that cheap and your sleep enough about your girlfriend from tokyo she isn't real enough.